And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, boysies, how you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? We're coming to you live from a dusty old man home video store. That's right, boys, we're digging into the next, I was going to say finale. It's not a finale, it's way off the finale of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. I'll turn my mic down a little bit because that's peaking. But how's it doing today, boysies? Uh, I am feeling a bit weird today. I'll go into it in, as I'm streaming, but... Hi, uh, I'm related to Shimon, don't worry, it's, and it's nothing bad, it's just, uh, the place that I've trained at for the last 11 years, wrestling-wise, is shut its doors, but it's our last show last night, and it was a fucking amazing show. Look, it's, I'm really happy to see how far everyone came, and how everyone's moved on, and all that, you know, but still, it feels like I was actually in the end of, like, a season, you know, like, a season finale of, like, a long-run sitcom, it generally felt like that, it was, it was special, I'm never gonna forget last night, but oh well. Enough about that, we're looking forward with Professor Layton. Let's just carry on. I can't remember which one's the better one, so we're just gonna go, we're gonna go between the two. So, uh, continue. I nearly hit fucking... There we go, Highway Arch. Yeah, it was the witches, uh, witches hot. That was it. Our story so far. Go tells Layton of the, the flute he was looking for was auctioned off to Evan Bard a year ago. Professor Emmy look. Eh, Professor Emmy and Luke decide to make their way to Bard Manor. The Bard Manor has been known as like the wit the witch's castle. You know, it's like the, it's some of a curse or whatever. We'll see. This is hired out. Wow, all these houses are huge. Yes, this does seem to be quite a nice residential area. Fucking Tories. Police station is nearby. As is the excavation site where they're searching for the Golden Garden. Sure it's nice to have a look as a tour guide, as the professor. Certainly is helpful. Now let's move on to Bard Manor. I'm trying to find any ink coins because your old dad used up a lot of them. What a splendid arch, but acts as a walkway. It marks the border between North Eli and Higher Yard Hill. No, no. Nah, I don't think we're getting any. Not place for a door. In there. I imagine this isn't everybody's front door. I think I've never seen a single person use it. I just saw someone inside. There we go, we got one hint coin. I'll take that. For you. Oh my god, you're horrifying. I did a sleepy little hamlet, but there was a huge giant terrorizing everyone. What kind of bait and switch is that? I feel cheated. You have seen the spectre? If I saw it, at least that'd be something exciting. Cops made us evacuate the area. I heard it appears randomly, but someone must have seen it, right? It still hasn't hit the same area twice. It's like lightning. Strange, it's almost like it's searching for something. It's a lost sibling or something. Interesting. Maybe he's searching for some of its own size, if that was the case. Says who? My friend's brother is like nine times our size. Good talk. Oh, got a puzzle. Otaki-san. I apologize for my pronunciation. I can barely speak English with the old language. I did some research on the Spectre and I found out some pretty interesting things. The legend says the Spectre is a detective town. It got me thinking, what if someone made the Spectre mad? Maybe it would upset his nerves. I think this is a warning to us all. The destruction of the town is only the beginning. Wow, you're pretty intense for a kid. I forgot how superstitious you people here are. We're living in a digital age now. I still feel so pretend like we live in some analog age. My favourite analog things are clocks. Check it out. Checking the time in the past. Just saying, boys, I'm gonna take a wee drink. Well, I have a wee read of this. Oh, it's worth 55. This could be fucking solid.
still fucking boiling boys, isn't it? Right, anyway. Have you ever noticed throughout the 24 hours that there are special times like at 111 where the same digit appears two times in a row? Take these special times and measure the angle going clockwise from hour hand to minute hand, excluding the angles where 12 lies between the hands. Same as the greatest angle. Jesus Christ, what is this? Right, uh. Right, so. Let me think. So, the greatest angle. So. We have the same one, so it's. So I'm trying to think. So it's. What? So it'd be one. Yeah, it's about 11. So that's. Uh, so that's. Like that. What about two, two, two? So two. Uh, and 20 past will be about there, so that's there. 3 and 33 there, so. Four and four, four, four would be like there, so. Five and five fifty five would be So I'm thinking what's a great angle? Is that a term? Which I think numbers they have the same number three times in a row. Way too many remember use the memo function. So why would puzzle at times like one? Zero point zero. Hmm. Huh. Question why does it bring that up? You know any angles you would have measuring uh, from the minute hand to the hour hand? Wait, what? Other angles is what? Greater than 180? Here's boys. Our one. You didn't miss some times. When you press times in 24 hour format, you have more possibilities. Oh my god. I was thinking 12 hours. Listen to 11, 11, and 12. Better one possible choice. That may already have overlooked something. Let's relax and think about the problem again. Right. All numbers have three identical numbers of uh, an hour hand. Of one of them is our 44. There's 12 lies inside the angle you measure. What? I'm so confused. Right, so. <laughs> right. And I've used up all my hint coins. Well, not all of them. I've got some hint coins left, but it's. I'm on the low front. Say that. I'm just reading this again to try and get a... Uh... I still can't... I still can't figure this out at all. Hmm. It's some reading, so phone numbers have a three identical numbers on a row have... Uh... I didn't say the angle. I think so. What's it? So I'm just gonna count it. So it's two and quarter. Right. So ten block. Eleven. Ah. Uh, Right, I'm just gonna guess. So I'll guess. Right, it's got more 180 degrees. Uh, there's 12 lies inside the angle you measure. So. Good angles were 12 lies between two of the hands. Oh, right. So. It's not the 11 o'clock one. 
12 is there, so... Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess it could have... I think I've, we'll not figure it out, but... It's the big, the only one that's bigger than... Three o'clock here... Is... Yes, man! The only one that was bigger than three o'clock... Was one that had uh, 12 in between the hand. Who ever thought this puzzle up as a fucking psychopath, right? The answer, uh, on that clock, uh, 3.55 and, uh, 15.55 look the same, but only one has three identical digits. 24 o'clock didn't dump you. Was it? I don't know. An old friend gave this to me. You go ahead and take it. This thing looks really old. That's why it's cool. When you're older, you wish you would have kept all your vintage stuff. Eh, not so much. Oh, wow, look at this view, Professor. The Grand Plaza. Nice. Wait, what's that up there? That's the dam. Barb Manor just a little beyond that. I'd love to see a schematic of a town's waterways someday. Fucking nerd, Leighton. Oh, what you gotta say? I thought we were trying to discourage tourists these days. Spectre's making quite a fuss, if you haven't noticed. Good thing I'm on the job. I'm sure Spectre business will be over soon. I for one can't wait to be able to sleep through the night again. Hey, maybe you can help me out. Family portraits, right. Portraits of five generations of the same family. Each generation shares one particular feature. Facial feature of each generation. Portrait above the room numeral one is the person series. Right, so... Right, so what I'm thinking is, eyes are the same there, the eyebrows, Eyebr so the eyebrows and the eyes here are the same, and so then his mouth and eyebrows are the same, and four. From memo. So basically, has I'm going to the eyes being the same here. The eyes here. Mouth. M. Eyes connecting. M. I think that's my answer. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to say that. I think this is right. Fuck. Well. Oh, I'm just not cut out for this. Too bad they'd be mortified if they knew you'd mix up the portraits. Right, here we go, let's give this another try. Right, so first of all, we've got Mark with, uh, maybe you're here. No, your smirk's there. Your beady eyes. Oh, and then he's got the same, and he's got the same eyebrows. Four and five have the same eyebrows. Same eyes. I guess that. I guess. What I've come up with. Fuck. Some puzzles are simply impossible. Nope, we can do this. Look, we can do this. We just need to have another wee look. Right. So they've all got something common. Wait. Right, so... The eyes were you. You know what, fuck it, I'll use the hint coin. No portrait around... Uh, no portrait is there, only one. Only one? Oh, right, I didn't read that. So his eyes stand out. No, his eyes are the same, but everything is different. Next up is I, I read it. I read it as in the share the same facial things, but I mean, like I failed me there. Uh, you have the same nose. So then, but if it's only one thing, share.
So you've got your nose isn't the same and Right, there we go. I think this is it. I just read the question wrong because of my dafty. Yes! That puzzle wasn't so hard. Yes, it fucking was. That's right. Look at features there with the current generation. Well, why didn't I think of that? Right in, back to work. Thanks for your help. Good luck with your investigation. We have to work our way around the dam. Got a hint coin. Can I go on archway like that? Photo time. I love places like this, they're so exciting. Can't deny they have a certain rustic charm about them. Any hint coins anywhere? Oh, would you look at that? Intriguing, so this is how the land lies. I don't think it would like be quite this big. Hope piers are here, here, and up there. Never mind there are boats. I want to ride that one. That's about to fall off. Only Bucky would come up with such an original decoration. How many cars? I which one I'd pick. Which one managed to keep track of all these boats? I must have one for every occasion. I'm just looking for any sort of. Nah. What's a dam? Well, a well-crafted dam, so this is how water flows into the town. That explains the filled canals. I think coin would you look at that. Oh fuck, a puzzle, that was a hint coin. Not a hidden puzzle if I'm not mistaken. Fuck. Right. Fuck, right, either or. A weary old sailor describing a special tool he used means out in his boat. Sometimes when I'm out in my boat, I dig a fight. A fine warm day. Get so high, so I dig out a special tool. I don't have to lift a finger to move my boat. I think it's unfair. Nobody wants. Uh, nobody minds helping an old man like me. What's he talking about? Right. He doesn't have to lift a finger to move his boat. Right. What do you mean by that? So. Have to lift a finger. Oh, I've got, I'm getting hung up on the that word. Lift a finger. Oh, don't have to lift a finger. Nobody uh, minds helping out an old man like me. Wait. I'm out my boat. I dig out a special and suddenly I don't have to lift a finger to move my boat. You might think it's a fair, but nobody minds helping out. Oh, someone's helping him, so it's something that would attach. Is it B? Because B's like a hook, I guess. Because he could put that on his boat and then on someone else's. Some puzzles must be met directly. Yes, man. If he's a No puzzle is without an answer. You're right. I said to him, I want to sit back and let someone pull the old boat for me. I just took it over the edge of the boat and he is that. That brings us up to speed. Here we go. The witch. Oh! Whoa. Well, at least the place isn't dilapidated and ostentatious. Well, we need to go up the stairs. Yeah. Big Keats, get his name. Big Keats. Nothing that I've forgotten. Not working. Oh, it's just for a windmill. That it contributes to the gloomy atmosphere. Go get as many as I can here because I've used a crazy amount of them up. Didn't leave these magnificent grounds untended. Could have been the place for a perfect garden. It used to be, but it's fallen apart since Mr. Bard's death. Well, we'll have to make our way through to reach the manor. Overgrown garden. Garden in Bard Manor's grown so thick it's nearly impassable. Unfortunately, a sign tells you how to navigate through it. Walking every square in the garden, only once, going from numerical order 1 to 8.
Right, so I, I need to step only on one or five. Back away. Hey. Oh, did I get it? This took some creative thinking. Ah. Oh. What could have gone wrong? That's it. Every single series. Oh. I fuck it. Have another look. Right, so open every square in the garden. All oh, right, every square. Cool. That's what I didn't read. Have a wee gander. Hey, this is he's someone that's got dyslexia. Oh, this is a the ruffian. Four, five, six, eight, one, two. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, if this is the one. Must be met directly. Yes, man. There we are. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. We start the entrance to the left side of the garden. It's possible to step to every series in order. Head on to Bard Manor. Right here we are. Let's move on. Wait for us. I'm caught in this bush. Are you alright, Emmy? Hang on. Ow, ow, ow. Man, nah, better be worth it. A little bit of uh, work. Grow anything in this rich soil. No sense in lingering here. Let's move on. There it is. I love the vintage goth decor. Cobwebs must have cost a fortune. Look, the people of you that live here. Of course they do, I think. That. Oh fuck, someone's watching. Did you see some Mr. Layton? Hmm, let's find the front door. Right, uh, quickly arc tab for an entrance. Hold on, Emmy. I'm sure I saw someone in one of the windows upstairs. What? The mat is horribly creepy. Layton just like pans on the end. Oh, what if this calamity witch is actually a ghost? Emmy, behind you! Oh, right, Luke. I'm not falling for that. Ah! It was what look like. Oh, no, it's a wee old guy. What do you young'uns want? Big Seamus. Pardon me, sir. My name is Herschel Layton. Is Ariana home? What business is that of yours? We are investigating the spectre. And who might you be? Who do I look like? I'm the gardener Seamus. The mistress has no interest in meeting with the likes of you. Now, go away! You just by the voices, I've got a feeling that... That's Seamus isn't quite who he's letting on to be. To the 
seem strange to you, Emmy? Which part? The garden is in disarray, despite having a gardener. Do you think he is just poor at his vocation? I heard that Mr. Bart's servants were all let go after his death. So, do you think this fake gardener is holding Ariana hostage? That is possible, I suppose. We must find a way in there. Just pan the window in. Let him take her hat off and use that to, like, punch the wall in. Not one, the wall in the window in. What should we do, Mr. Layton? Hmm. Oh, we get a hint coming from the windies. That's good. Three stories? That's a mansion. Very rare to see any built, any house built on such a large scale. Maybe how much bigger it is than my own house. If it looks a mad Tory. Green spindly spires rather eerie. I took a picture of the roof, Professor. It was a deliberate design, right? Uh, head round here. Professor, I think we can get in through this tower. Get inside if we cross the bridge at the top of the tower. She seemed quite eager to go break into Bard Manor. A young girl could be in danger. Your duty is an English gentleman, Professor. You can't just turn your back on this, can you, Mr. Layton? Of course not. Let's go. Come on, hurry. So we just we did just kick the door down. A mushroom. Being next to the lake, the humidity is probably quite high. Probably not the kind of mushroom that one should eat. Now let's find out. Go around and see if I can find anything. So oh, slimy. Yeah, I don't think I want to touch that. Think of the fun to be had studying this under a microscope. Ugh. Oh. Ah, there was something there. Can you get rid of this? Professor, look. Going up. That is how a tower works, Emmy. Oh, great puzzle. Oh, what a view. You can see a lake, a town, everything. Must have been a lookout tower. Perhaps, uh, it probably hasn't been used in many years. We get to the walkway I saw from here earlier. Strange from outside, it looks like we could get here, get there from here. Hmm, Emmy, what's that written on that wall there? Oh, is that a clue? Close to look here. Is it graffiti? Not the witch's mark, I can tell you that. The number's four, one, two, three. I love clues, let me jot this down. What is that above the numbers? Those flames? Four numbers and drawings of flames, what could this mean? It's a difficult one. Right, so... Splendid verse calls for a photo. Mist rolling over the hills is an elegant sight to behold. I'd like to come back when it's a nice day too. Right. Oh, hint coin, I'll take that. Our hint coin. That same thing. Oh. Oh. Need to light them in a set order, don't I? Seem to be gas torches. Don't even need a match to light them. I don't suppose these torches are some sort of puzzle. Very sharp observation. Look, the torches might be our key here. Think so, Professor? Right, what was the order? Solve for the puzzle. Uh. Four. No. Oh. I'll cut them all and then hopefully they'll turn out. There we go. Right, uh. Flame went out. Gotta head upstairs and have a wee look. I forgot it already. What am I like? Ah, oh, so one, two, three, and in. Here we go. We got us. We got us. Let's try again. I think it's something with these torches. It goes. It goes one, two, three, four. There we are. 
Yes, man. Puzzle solved. I'm the best, that's why. I'm the best puzzle boy. I just heard something above us. Let's go check it out. Ooh, a secret door. Press it. <coughs> I just choked them on saliva there when I meant to say something. Oh god, that was horrible. Professor, the entry wasn't here before. As I suspected, the torches. That must lead up to the sky passage. Oh, there's a large thing in the middle of that cobweb. Once caught in a spider's web, there's no getting out. Apart from when you find a hint coin. The door should lead into the main part of the house. Wait, look, there's something odd about this door. Lock is some sort of puzzle. Professor, may I? Oh, the terrace door. I put the right number in. On the right side of the doorknob is a set of equations. Each symbol represents each single digit number. If you solve the equation, you'll represent the number. Right, so, so star times star equals club, star times club. Oh, and then you put in what is what, cool. Right, so star times club equals Jack and Bed. Bed. Times moon, circle, and triangle. Right. But they, all, they, they stand for a number, basically, so. So, right. Stars are at least one, two, or three. Probably two or three. Because if they they times and it's a single digit, so, so, let's just say it's two or three. Uh, let's just say, again, two or three. So that's that. So, that means that blank plus blank is... So, I'm guessing the sort of diamond is what? Right, so... What? So... Two or three means I don't love means. So then they will or three club spade and a diamond. That is that means a spade no the Diamond is ten, so I'll add out a one. A one. And that means that Range are sort of broken there, but right, that means that oh. well, let's just say take like two times two, four, so it's a four, four times two would still be an eight, so it's a three, so it's three times. Stars are three. Times three is nine. Clubs are nine. Then we have three times nine, which is eighteen twenty-seven. So that's seven. That's twenty-seven. Twenty, and then club is a seven. What is the moon then? What is that? Ah. 
Can't you aim three? Seven. Seven times something. Not seen before. Seven times fourteen. But I don't think it's. Hmm. Yeah, because that. Because if it was seven times one. Seven. Wouldn't be. Seven's already used, so can't use that. Two. We've already used two, so it can't be two. Not three. Seven times four is. I mean, eight. Eight we've already used two, so it can't be that. 7 times 5 is 35, we'll use the 3 so it can't be that. 7 times 6 is 40. Use 2 so it can't be that. 7 times 7 is... Oh, 7 times 2 is always the worst one. 49, can't be that because... Oh, it can't be that because we use 9. 7 times 7... Oh, sorry, 7 times 8. We like used just eight yet, have we? So seven times eight is broke fifty-six, and we've not used. Oh, I figured it out. So eight and six. There we go. That means this is eight, six. I think this is right. That's taking me way too long to figure that out. Holy shit! I knew I could do it. Correct. Crescent is eight and triangle is six. Star times star is a single digit answer, so star must be one, two, or three. Ever since one times one would be one again, knowing that a star with two a club would be four, but in the next equation, two times four would not be just a two digit answer. Therefore, star is 3, club is 9, diamond is 2, and speed is 7. After that, just try to use unused numbers to fill in the other symbols and find the correct values. I did. I got it, Professor. Nice work, Luke. This place is huge. Does Ariana really live here all alone? Hard to look like there's anyone living here at all. I think there are ghosts here. Don't say that, Emmy. What is that over on the wall? A picture of Ariana. That's been taken a while ago. And the picture with her. With her brother, Tony. Where is he now? Not sure. No sign of him either. Perhaps he's with Ariana. Right, let's explore this fucking haunted house. Surely nothing could go badly, breaking and entering, and raiding, like we're even raiding people's stuff. There are toys everywhere. Scattered them all about. Ariana, let's look what toys a boy would typically enjoy. Caretaker plays with toys, doesn't make sense. Be very weird. Yeah, because adults play with toys, this is weird, yeah. And me and all my Transformers, don't mind them. The name of this toy car. Tony. Where's Tony? We haven't found anyone in this house. That's went out for something. In here. Maybe Ariana's room. Find out. Ariana. Oh god, here we go. Get a cutscene. There he is. The evil witch. How'd you get in here? Who are you? My name is Herschel Layton. I hope I didn't frighten you. Please, I say we mean no harm. Go to my house and tell me that you mean me no harm. Aye, we're the bad guys here. I know how this looks. Please forgive me, but for whatever reason, see you for a bit. I'm listening. The gardener keeping you against your will. Excuse me? I don't know what you're insinuating, but Seamus works here. I'm... Oh, it looks like we've made a terrible mistake. 
Yes, we may have been a bit hasty in our assumptions. My apologies. Sorry. Fine, now just leave. Please. We'll seek the Spectre's Flute any, uh, elsewhere. Thank you. What? Spectre's Flute? Father, Mr. Bard bought it at the black market a year ago. I think the Spectre destroying a town has been summoned by whatever is playing this flute. I'm going to track it down. Suddenly a Spectre with a flute? Huh, absolutely preposterous. I think they had a lovely melody when the Spectre last appeared. I believe that there is definitely, definitively a connection between the two. I don't know anything about a flute, now please leave. Ariana, people are in danger. If you know anything, please tell us. I'm a witch. I bring disaster to those around me. If you remain here, disaster will find you as well. What are you talking about? Why are you doing this, Ariana? We both know you're not a witch. Do we? I mean, can we definitively say that she is not a witch? What? Hold on. Do you two know each other? Luke and I were friends. Before all this happened. Of course the Tory children all stick together, you know? Ariana, we're still friends. I don't think you're a witch. Oh, flashback. Oh, look at his wee feet. Boring things, huh? Don't you think? All they talk about is politics and the weather too. Yeah. Yeah, adults are boring. Let's get out of here. Wow. I know. Amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But I stop talking to any anyone who's not too wrestling around that because I'm like, all right. Uh, so weather, right? We're all so small when you think about it. I'm Ariana. Maybe you and I could be friends. Yeah, it's best pals. I wish it was that easy making mm. pals as an adult. My name is Luke. Luke I'm gonna take Trudge. a drink. Two seconds, boys. Oh, did you see that, Luke? Ah, <sighs> what did you wish for? Ariana, you're not a witch. Stop saying that. Sorry, you can see me burping on camera there. Luke, I am cursed. Everyone is right to fear me. Ariana! Ariana! Go away! What is all this? How did you whippersnippers get in here? Miss Ariana, are you all right? I think that's our brother. That's my theory. Out! Daddies. Yeah, because who would say that to fucking Leighton, who's called 30s, you know? Emmy, Luke, come, let's go. Yes, I'm sorry, that was all my fault. Nonsense, Emmy, after all, I made the same premature judgment. But I'm curious why Ariana's attitude was. Look, what did you know about her? Ariana is... Ariana's very sick. But she looked fine to me. I think there's more to this than we could imagine, so let's go discuss how you feel. But properly there. Oh, that's hot. They're really hot. Hot, hot, hot. Stop touching them. This oil painting evinces a powerful individuality. Word means, but... Well, not individuality, it's the... Before we go, let's ransack the hood. Window's fogged up, I can't see out. Take the front door. Can. Ariana was hiding something. Wish I knew of what exactly. Look, is Ariana sick? Yes, I learned about it when I saw her at a party. Now she didn't have long to live. That's terrible. Young. Dad told me. Did even the best doctors couldn't do anything. I think that's probably why she had shut herself inside the house. Well, it certainly doesn't help that everyone thinks she's a witch. Not a witch. I know she's not. Fortunately, she seems to think otherwise, perhaps. Perhaps I could prove her wrong. Then she might even tell us. Hiding. 
Let's know something about that flute. If you could help Ariana, that'd be great. Let's explore the area west of here. Lake is that way. Sam, we saw use water from that lake. Since we're here, let's go take a look, Professor. Will we? Do we need to? Okay. We're heading, we're heading to the lake, aren't we? The lake is beautiful. This must be the town's main water source. Rain water and runoff from the mountains collect in the reservoir. Piece of the water we use every day comes from here. Old rusted pipe here is a water main. Oh, well, I certainly hope it isn't. Pipes are out of use. Kept me even around, uh, after, they kept me around even after a new system was put in. Water goes from the reservoir into Mr. Halloween's buildings. Past, however, one pipe that takes water uh, from the lake is split down to small pipes all over town. Pipes I've seen around town are holdovers from that system. Interesting what, what those were. I was wondering what those were. Ah. My father comes here a lot to fish. Do you leave pink coins anywhere? It does. Any types of mist off the lake? Mist out here? Uh, anywhere else? Water's refreshing. Water's getting damp just to expand here. I called an old legend, uh, an old legend about a spirit who survived only. Oh. Found a new item, a shiny scale. So well then. Back the way. I love how Layton's not went, oh, steam, pipes, all that. Maybe the residents of High Yard will know Ariana. Maybe someone can give us some useful information. Let the investigation continue. Right, Keats, get in. Anything we've missed? Nope. Because uh, there's going to be a, a bit in it where it turns around and says, oh yeah, you've not solved X amount of puzzles, you know? You two were in the market, yes. Yep, she's Ren. He's Socket. Or new territory today. Yeah, Bucky let us take one of his boats out for a little test run. Or, oh, is that right? Of course, you can turn that stink eye of yours elsewhere, you know. Bro didn't happen to tell you, uh, you to deny on us, did he? What? That's ridiculous. Yeah, we're out sightseeing in our hometown because you can't take anything for granted. Aha, huh, let's leave it at that. I agree, let's just back off from these scary children. Damn, is quite a marvel. It's almost like a fortress, quick, man the turrets. A lot of water behind that. Right, where to now? That's Bucky. So we meet again. Hello there, Bucky. I see you have another boat landing. Efforts, I'm expanding my service to, to better meet my clients' needs. Need boats? Need Bucky. Boat landing's only a step in your master plan then. Yep, Socket and Ren are helping me test this run. We'll be ready for business here soon. Well, congratulations, we'll continue exploring higher Hill. Huh, Professor, what's that? What's what? Over there, looks like... I don't know what. Let's look odd. Oh, try tapping it. What looks. Oh. Oh my god, he's horrifying. That's Goosey. Wow. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm Goosey. I was hiding, but you still saw me. That means I must have been sticking out again. Oh, that's Goosey. Yes, we saw you sticking out. It's pretty tough to miss. Why were you hiding? I've been trying to hide for years, but I always stick out. I know what you mean. Whenever we played hide and seek, the kids would always find me. I'd just be hiding and then I'd realise my foot or head would be sticking out. Stuck out ever since, especially from society. I see. Of course you do. That's the problem. Glad you stick out because now we can ask you a question. You know anything about Bard Manor? Just that all the servants were let go and only kids live there now. Wait, do those kids stick out when they play hide and seek too? No, not especially. Thanks for your time. Oh, three's so pump me from info and then toss me aside. I see how it is. I guess that's goosey. 
And that's Goosey, I suppose. Interesting one, huh? That is indeed Goosey. So only kids, work, so all the staff are let go and it's just the kids that work at the manor now, or are at the manor. I hope I get to arrest this to myself. I'll get the biggest book I can find and throw at him. Okay, so I asked one of the locals about the witch. He thought maybe she's the one controlling the spectre. Duh. I mean, a witch and a spectre isolated in. I doubt it. Witches love to control spectres. Absolutely no reason to believe anything you just said. Wild well, kid, relax. Sorry, I didn't have a report full of facts and stuff. She? Anyway, have you seen that weirdo gardener up Bird Manor? One servant for that huge place? If I kept one servant, I'd keep the cook. Can't eat a garden. First a witch and a spectre. When things like this happen, you never know what's next. Someone's pulling your strings behind some curtain here. All it says you got to find the curtain. Oh. Who's badge? That's. Was it garden? Positively, bones with the owner of. I had problems with sinkholes here. Why is it so close to a residential area? Do an archaeologist dig sites have their own unique appeal? And then we just got to head back this way. Sure, we'll dig down there eventually. This guy. Big hands. I heard you were asking about those barred brats. They yeah, used to be in line to own. That's how I know that. That was that rundown manor. The old man wasn't nothing compared to mine. My dad's the chief of police here. Oh dear. I see myself reading a nice book with a nice cup of tea on this lawn. Oh, it's the police chief. Welcome to the Miss Halley Police Station. State your business. Chief helps the weak and puts the strong in their place. Third eye sees all, I tell you. Not convinced, but look at this. Armour antics. Somebody threw a suit of armour on and... Uh, and Someone threw on the suit of armour and the exact same attire they're wearing now. I put a dent in the helmet. I wanted to take a, do is take a look at the perpetrator to find out who it was. Which of these four lads was it? Right. Wait. Right, so the obvious one is A, because this thing has a lump or what. But I'm thinking that might be too obvious. That's clearly the thing you're meant to like, draw your attention to. But he's also don't I don't think height's gonna have anything to do with it. So I don't think it'll but in these holding his head. Hmm. Right, so let's have a look. So they're facing the other way. So, oh, his dent's on the other side of the helmet. So he hurt himself on that side, but you need to turn him 180 to E. So, but if we spin him around, holding that side of his head, what? E. Be there. But it's E. This took some creative thinking. Is it? No puzzle is without an answer. Great, the couple was doing a bump in the head matching a dent in his helmet, but he was hiding it with his hand. That's how he exposed them. He didn't even need to investigate crime scenes anymore. But I do wonder what happened to the homes that got attacked by the spectre. Talk to him again, see if he can fit. Mission of Miss Halley Police Force to serve the people who refused to not cooperate. Fucking A cab. We're open to the general public, except when we're too busy to be. Up to me, that meant to. 
meant to click on see if we can get in. Seemingly not. This plaque seems to be to the station as a gift. Not spending any time uh, saying anything good at the Popo because. Fuck, fuck him, Jacob. My dad's the best. Head back this way. Hello, nice weather today. Hello, miss. Would you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Oh my, it's been so long since I've spoken with a English gentleman. By all means, ask away. Aye, right, thank you. You at all out with Bard Manor? Well, Mr. Bard died about a year ago and the house has been closed off since then. I heard all the servants left town. But poor girl's alright. Think she's a witch too? Oh my, are you one of those? Strange events in this town often are often just childish pranks. In this whole spectre business, you'll need to be more rational. If you're looking for information, I suggest you stick with asking those who aren't superstitious. I saw a friend of one of the bar children walking west of the Grand Plaza. I might speak with him. I wish adults weren't so superstitious. I mean, really. If only I could speak to my husband like this. Don't you dare uh, go falling for any spectre hoopla. Right, never. Sorry, never eat. The only, reason I, only way I remember North West is... Who is this horrible looking child? Oh, it's Big Sean. Hi. Don't be strangers. Let's talk. Are you tourists? Where do you live? How long are you here? Um, well, not exactly. London, and I'm not certain. Have you by any chance heard of Bard Manor? Yeah, my friend lives there. We used to play a lot, but now not so much. Not sure why. His name is Tony. He's got a sister named Ariana and a teddy bear. Oh, yeah, sure do miss him. I might have seen him, but some old bearded guy uh, was leaving the place. Do you know who that was? I think we know who that might be. Famous, I presume. He had a shopping bag and I followed him to the market. I ended up losing him. You try to find him. Oh, sorry, a big yawn just hit me there. Yeah, we just need to get myself sorted in my chair and move my mic around. There we go. Perhaps. Thank you. Back to the market, Professor. Back to the market. Where about the market? So, 36. Uh, riddle solved. I've got a feeling we're going to have a wall hitting us in. Hey, it's you guys. Good timing. Oh, really? Why is that? The old man from Barb Manor went down the canal. Everyone's asking about Barb Manor, right? Yes, we were. Professor, she must probably head into the market. Indeed, let's head that way. Thank you for your help, miss. Oh, miss. He <laughs> Pleasure was mine, kind sir. Don't take one of Bucky's books. You better get moving. Lightning's just got away with the ladies, they can't resist them. Fine, thank you very much. The fucking stud, so he is. Right, pal. Barb Manor was very beautiful. Once the staff left, the place became degrading. You know why the servants were let go? I heard that after Mr. Barb passed away, his daughter ordered them all to leave. Rumour is the kids that said they couldn't trust anyone, it's one to live by themselves. I think the mayor's maid Beth used to work at Bard Manor, but I think she left before anyone else did. The rest of the staff's probably at various homes around town. D, thank you for your time. Boys, I'm so tired. Why? Absolutely exhausted. I had a really busy and really emotional night last night, so maybe I'm just like emotionally done in, if that makes sense. Spectre first appeared nearly a year ago. Like, look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There is some sort of plumage that attracts a spectre and wants to make it enjoy the place. I can't talk, I can't speak, but you know. Get a general, general stuff I was saying there. Oh, do you, because you've lost your fucking mind. Let's head to the market. So, Seamus anywhere? Clayton, won't Seamus be upset if he catches us following him? At shopping look. If we don't see him, maybe we can get some information from can ask Aunt Taffy or maybe the Black Ravens. Aunt Taffy, let's get Aunt Taffy first. You haven't gotten any younger since last time we met. You're still not getting any candy, Missy. Investigating an important investigation. Thank you. Wait, so what for your candy? Made it all sold out. Not that it matters in your case. Really? But you had so much? 
Yes, some kid with a sweet tooth. Too much pocket change came by and cleared. Oh, sorry, no, yawn, Jesus Christ. Did you also happen to see a young, uh, old man with a long white beard? Nope, Clarence was here, but that guy couldn't grow a beard if he had fertilised his face. Also, was that little boy with chestnut coloured hair. He came in and swooped up all my candy. The late little boy from Hired Hill asked, right, asked for candy. Give it to him. Hired Hilly, who often come from that far away just for your candy. What? Who come from the moon for my candy? Here, try some and... Wait, wait a second. Nice try there, missy. Go on, Leith Nails. Go to the kid in the market. Go on. Take those candy hung hungry eyes out of here. Maybe we can figure something out if you really want candy. It's fine. I'm an adult look. Go myself. Okay. Well, next time we pass through, I'll buy you some. Yes. Yes, you will. Yes, not hair. Welcome. What can I do for you? Have you seen an old man with a beard around here? I mean, Mido? I can't say I've seen him today. No, not Mido. Anything strange in the market? Nah, today's big action with some little kid going on a shopping spree. I see. It's Seamus hasn't shown up yet. Someone just bought all of Aunt Taffy's candy. Yes, do you know anything about the little boy who did that? If I knew about him, I would have stopped him. Reads, do you recall seeing an old man with a white beard around? How can you ask a question like that during a candy shortage? Of course, I, I apologise. He's obviously going through something, so we'll leave him to it. Man, this is so awful. Goes away, you gotta know that Black Raven's away. Goes out? Yeah, I don't know where he needs to fix up now. He'll be back. If you need a crow, I'll give him a message, I guess. Go put me through that. Go this way first. Oh! There we go, I got the mouse thing. I got the mouse badge. Happy with that. I do believe this is a cake shop. This way. Here, so. That way. I've got one of them hired hill kids down here today. Come down here now and then. Rich kid for sure, but you can just get all that money on him. Any chance you noticed an old man with a white beard? Can't say I did. Maybe you should ask Crow. Well, guess we're asking Crow. Where would Crow be? Goes down at the black market. Thank you for your help, Nabby. The music in it is such a banger. Talk to you, I guess. The aim of today's auction is that certain channels. Commissioned by a war hero, so it has historical value as well. Perfect for me. This stuff looks like junk. Far from it, just because items can't be sold at the auction. Only a fool wouldn't buy. Actually, I don't know what any of this stuff is worth. I estimate it's worth a small fortune. He doesn't know the value of the things he's trying to buy. Beauty is indeed the eye of the beholder, Emmy. Anyway. Well, it looks like this beholder just needs to get his eyesight checked. That's cruel, there he is. Back, you find the witch? You could say so, yes. So, what are you doing back here? Wondering if you had by any chance seen an old man with a bushy white beard around here? I heard you've been asking around about that guy. I haven't seen your bearded man, sorry. But I did see something that might interest you. What would that be? Just a piece of info. Not for nothing, but nothing ain't for nothing. You know what I mean? How about you solve this puzzle? Middle of the deck. A 52 card deck with no numbers. If the cards are all placed in a certain order that follows the pattern below, what will number be in the 25th card? So we've got a. Uh, Right, so, hmm, so it goes diamond, club, no, diamond, diamond, club, heart, spade, diamond, club, heart, spade. So, we'll work this out, so that'd be fifth, 25th, 
So 26 it would be a... It works it so every four, every fifth card is a diamond. So that means 25, so it would be a club. Right, so... Uh... Club. Palace I was drawn. Or an, oh fuck, it's been turned into an Iron Cross. Right, we're just gonna ignore that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every fifteenth card. So work us out. So every seven cards. So if it goes, say. One, so, one, two, sorry, I'll, I'll get the memo up so you can count on some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six. So, that means every, every 14th card is an ace. So, we'll go into the eight. Difference is nine. So, get an ace and then it'll be one, four, five, six. So it's either a queen or a two, so I'll guess two clubs. Tap the suit and the number. Gotta say two of clubs. That's just a guess. What have I got in the memo? A queen or a two. But I'll try two first and then I'll try a queen. A challenging puzzle to be sure. Yep. Nope. A little more thought is in order. I'll try queen this time. And I'll have a big think about it. Right, I miss queen. There we go. Some puzzles must be met directly. Damn it! Right, okay, now I'm really confused. What could have gone wrong here? I'm trying to work this out. I go over. Are we counting this? So. So. Clubs. One. Five, six, and then oh, oh, fuck. So, if you so that's 14, so then be 15, 16, 17. Twenty one, two, four, five, the eight, the eight of clubs, not an eight of clubs, it's a jack. Oh, wait. So, a jack, because maybe that card's already played. If you know what I mean, like, see, you're starting with the ace already, so I'm thinking Jack. I think, think it's a Jack. This took some creative thinking. Yes, man. I love the thrill of a good solution. Okay, the Jack clubs, uh, the suit maintains the order of diamonds, clubs, hearts. So two numbers that are skipped for each card drawn. They are? All right, oh, I get you. Cool. 
That rich kid from Hired Hill was here shopping earlier. Is he a friend of yours? I don't make friends with the patrons. I might talk up our best auction clients, but that's it. I see. Anyway, he was on a shopping spree. He was buying candy, groceries and a house and stuff. Large quantities, so he was here to stock up. Pretty well with that info. I know something fishy when I see it. Yes, that certainly seems like something worth investigating. Black Raven does good work. Don't say that name out loud. Eesh. My apologies, Crow. Thank you very much for information. You got it. Didn't find out anything, and we lost Seamus. Now what do we do? We learned quite a bit, actually. I'm correct, there may be an incident in town very soon. Head back to town. Don't know what it means by an incident in town, but I think I'm on them. Like, I knew that as soon as I seen the character that, that Wayne pretended to be an adult, so... Seamus is, uh... What, him, whatever his name is. Tony, that was it. It was Tony. Got... But I'm so excited for a new Leighton game. Even though I've got uh, the Leighton Mysteries to catch up with, I think it's called. The one with Catriel. Means Leighton Fox. Leighton has shagged at least once. What's going on? Let's head east and find out. Right. Never. Oh, there we go. There's a wee, a wee thing telling us where to go. That's useful. Professor! What is it, Emmy? Oh! Witch's Mark. A Witch's Mark. Here for the resident speak I love Ariana. Witch's Mark. What was this? A candy wrapper? I suspected. All right, now calm down you a lot. It's just a silly prank. There's no need to fly off a handle. Just take a deep breath and relax. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Let's try it again from the top. In, out. Off to a fish, please. You're feeling a bit lightheaded. Okay, now what's going on here? We'll talk to this wee guy. Rock, terrible news. The witch's mark has appeared. Finch, calm yourself, please. You who left this mark? No, I turned away for a second and caught. Oh, even someone come through here. Maybe a on its own. What if nobody painted? Oh, it just ruffles my feathers. Whoever lives in that house slandered the bard name. I've got miss a bard on the land around here. Uh, land around here. Folks complained quite a bit. But who can blame him? That's no reason to be bad mouthing his little girl. I agree. I think I have a solution to our little enigma here. Really, Mr. Layton? Let's look at what's happened since we left Barb Manor. Why are we looking for Seamus? Uh, it's the only reason, love. That's why we need Seamus. Uh, to gain Ariana's trust. Uh, I'll say to gain our trust. Get Ariana to trust us. We wanted to defend Seamus so we'd be on Ariana's good side. But I suppose that's not entirely wrong. There's a specific way to gain our trust. Oh, let's see. It's to clear her name. That was it. Was it to clear Anna's name? Correct. If we can prove that she's not cursed, maybe she'll help us. Since Seamus is only seven left, we thought he might give us some helpful information. Then we lost track of him. We heard that he was spotted in a boat and he was frequented the market, so we tried to follow him. We didn't see him in the market, though. However, we did get some good information there. Which person of interest was seen shopping at the market? It was a boy from Hired Hill. You mean the boy from Hired Hill? Yes, Crow said he saw a boy buying food in the items and it was Aunt Taffy's candy. Any candy has anything to do with our investigation? I think it does. Is the witch's mark? Did we see anything else there? There's another clue near the witch's mark. Candy wrapper. Candy wrapper was lying there. That's correct, Emmy. Now, who could that belong to? The boy from Hired Hill bought some of... Oh, he bought all of Aunt Taffy's candy. Correct. What are you saying, Professor? Seamus? Head back to Bard Manor. Better if I show you. Yes, we did it. Right, long journey back to the manor. I 
Hey there, how are you all doing? Hey there, Bucky. What are you so excited about? Forget me, you're the excited one. Wait is over, Hired Hill boat landing is now open. Throw yourself, please. I know my boats are the best way to get around, but please stay calm. I have a feeling Bucky would like to take us on one of his boats. You have no idea how good a fast travel option would be in this game. The areas are actually surprisingly big. South Pier is now open. Hop on for a tranquil cruise through our serene waters. If you want to ride, Bucky has some great boats here. Uh, going to Hired Hill. There we go. That was a lovely wee journey. Heading to Barb Manor. See something down by a lake? Let's go down there and get a better look through this fog. This way, isn't it? Yeah. for what might happen you are not actually cursed my dear and we can prove it what? so does she think she's Ariana, oh she thinks she's cursed you are not at all what they say he's right the calamity but dead bang the eyes look an interesting up one but a fabrication nonetheless it was created to protect you ariana what are you talking about protect me yes i understand why your protector kept you in the dark all this time what it was better all along that you did not know. The one behind the curse was none other than... Your brother. Go do the big dramatic turn. Aw. You there, young man. Oh. <gasps> Seamus? That's ridiculous! You are aware of the witch's curse. That bad things happen to people who speak ill of you. Well, it is not a curse, just a simple trick. What do you mean? Seamus took note of people who said nasty things about you, and he then painted the witch's mark on their homes. Rumors of a curse then spread throughout Miss Tallery, and the townspeople began to suspect that you were actually a witch. It was Seamus who created the rumor of the witch's curse. Like I say, can we prove that she's not a witch? Throw in the water. I, that's meant to be used to. Well, I, I'm, I don't know if that's a fabrication made up or if it's something that actually done where they used to like put them in water. I think they're a real person if they vote oh, for a witch and they bring them and burn them. But then again, I don't think. Uh, oh, what are they called? It's not pill. No. Oh, it's not Pokemon. They were the pure, puritanicals. Puritanical, I believe. Yeah, they were not the most normal people. Is this true? I think they literally, like, again, can't, can't uh, confirm this, but I think they actually left Europe because Europe was too full of, you know, dragon. Into the new world thinking. Oh. Seamus, I know you think you're helping Ariana, but you're acting like a child. Well, Emmy, because he is a child. there is a good reason for that. Yes, I knew it. And what would that be? Seamus, why don't you show us who you really are? There he is. Oh, it looks a bit weird. Tony? That looked really strange when it cut off, but I, it, it, it's trying to do the sort of book thing where it's like two screens making the... I should have a, set, a separate screen for that in case there's any... Ones that do that in the story, but play that by ear. I couldn't forgive the people who said mean things about my sister. So did she just think her brother disappeared? Or Tony? What have you done? Professor When he's a wee prick. This? There were many pictures of Ariana with a young boy. But he was nowhere to be found, although we saw many signs of his presence. I'm sorry.
sorry my brother caused so much trouble. Oh, Tony's wreck, isn't he? We just wanted to be left alone. We don't want people to fear us. We're looking for the Spectre's flute, Ariana. Can you help us? Your father purchased it on the black market. The Spectre's flute? <gasps> I don't know anything about it. Oh, Tony does so. Fucking shot himself when he said that. Please. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You don't know anything about me. Perhaps we should all calm down a bit. I told you. I don't know anything about a flute. Now leave. Ariana, I'm sorry. She's definitely hiding something, Professor. Oh, is she? Oh. Ariana, if you want us to leave, we'll leave. Get the hammer out, Emmy. We're in for interrogation. Let's go. I played Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell Conviction, which is a fucking class game. One of the only Splinter Cells I've really played. Now, I remember because I enjoyed. No, yeah, because I played Rainbow Six. I really like Rainbow Six. I tried to read a Tom Clancy book. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. We will? Yes. Emmy, we should go now. The cursed witch has been solved. Ariana's curse was in fact created by her little brother Tony. He painted the witch's mark and played tricks on anyone who badmouthed Ariana. I didn't realise how many times people were simply concerned about them. He just thought, yeah. For now. Be back though. Interrogation. Look, do you know what Ariana's afraid of? I think this is a good time to talk about that. Perhaps we'll be me perhaps what we may be afraid of as well. I mean Vector. He look is very scary. Amy, I don't understand the true terror of a Spectre. A Spectre threatens to do more than just destroy our town. What do you mean? A Spectre can destroy the very fabric of our families. It ruins not just our houses but our homes. We become filled with fear, our hearts go cold, and I fear that's already happened. I think this is some Spectre can do to people. Spectre has been a part of Miss Harley for generations. Here's all it's listening to us now. The fog its powers. The of the town become nothing more than pawns. Father. Look. Delayton, you're everything I hoped you'd be. I'm so glad that I chose to seek the help of an adult from outside Miss Hallery. You've not disappointed me. Spectre, the witch, Mr. Bard, this is all happening so fast. Fuck. Why, Papa? Oh, it's a flashback. Why could you leave us? Why? The land is gone. You reap what you sow. Good riddance. Stop! Oriana? Oriana, are you all right? Is there anything I can do? Don't touch me. Go away. Go back to your nice family and your perfect little house. Ariana, just go and leave me alone. I mean it, Luke. Because <laughs> everyone was shit and talking to her dad. Their dad was an arsehole. <laughs> Ariana was never the same after that day. It wasn't long until uh, the spectre began appearing. Really? Ever since that day, it's been as if Miss Hallery was cursed. People have been getting sick. My mother disappeared. Weird. What do you mean? Far says she's travelling, but she wouldn't just go on a trip without telling me. I know her. I know father's lying to me and he's the power of the spectre. I know he is. The spectre will take over the heart and soul of every man and woman in this town. Yeah, will then reach out and take over the entire world. I think that Ariana feels this way as well. Is that why she won't speak to us? She doesn't know who you are or what you really want. She has already lost so much. Professor, I don't know about all this. Vince Clark's on ease as soon as we arrived. Certainly it isn't acting like himself. Look, I believe a spectre has these powers you describe. What? I mean, that's quite a leap in logic from Leighton. Usually Leighton's very... Spectre, it changes people. Seems that all this began with Mr. Bard's passing. We'll look into the details surrounding his death. We must access police reports. Of course. Look, I promise you, I will solve the mystery that plagues this town. Well? 
I always keep my promises. That's the duty of an English gentleman. Fuck off, Leighton. Oh, thank you, Mr. Leighton. Let's make a visit to the police station. It's been a long chapter, hasn't it? Like an hour and a half of not. Because usually I like to do two chapters in a. Uh, in a playthrough. Not, but. See how long the next one goes. We'll try and speed run the next one, I think. This one's just been very heavy on story. There's the Popo station. Oh, it's down this way, isn't it? I wonder how press the lightning speed runs look. Is that a flag for missile? I, I missed what I said. I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Nobody gets in without a chief say so. Move along now. We really we have other urgent bits to do with the chief. Let us in. Now. Okay, why don't you just say that in the first place? Forgive me, right this way, please. Here we go, what's the pose? Good. How may I help you? My name's Herschel Leighton and I'm investigating the Spectre, but the rest of the mayor. Look at some records. Well, the chief is out investigating the Spectre as well, so I can't show you nothing until he gets back. Permission? Sorry, it's police policy. Archives go to Scotland Yard every year. Need something? Check there. Hey, hey, hey. Using. When do you expect the chief to be back? I have to say, could be as few as five hours, could be as many as ten. Thank you. Helpful. A problem, we're not getting any help here, and it looks like the chief will be back anytime soon. And this is just a hunch, but even if he does return, he not show us the records unless it bards death and protect her. We're off going all the way back to Scotland Yard. Wait, why not? Professor, I'll go back to London and search for the files in their archives. I mean, I doubt Scotland Yard will grant you access to their files. Really? I've got connections. Besides, I can't just wait around for 10 hours. I'll be back with the files. What assistance are for, right? Well, I suppose. I'd be grateful, Emmy. Then look and I can continue your investigation here. If don't mind, can you drop by the university to pick up my notes and recent newspapers? Notes and newspapers will do. Emmy, wait, we need a place to meet when you return. Good idea. That's why you're the prof. Where should we meet? The library? That'd be a good place to look over everything. The library? Got it. I'll be back in a flash. I'll we'll never even know I was gone. Wow, look at her go. Hope she's a safe driver. Absolutely not. She'll be a psycho driver. There's also the greatest move in all of wrestling. Any of Super Dragon's moves are the best moves in wrestling. Anyway, here we go. Chapter 6 London's Hidden Secrets. Oh, wait, we're we playing as Emmy for a chapter? Ooh. Done a wee scooter. I made good time now to get those papers that the professor wanted. How would the professor keep his notes? He's gonna have a fucking maze, isn't he? As a oh, here we go. Amy, I've been looking for you. In Delmona. I was worried that something had happened to you. Sorry, sir. The professor has been uh, investigating this proceeding well. You have to get materials for him. I see. That's just grand, so Leighton's not in London at the moment. Correct, sir. My apologies for leaving without informing you. No, 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 that's quite alright. It must have been very important business then. I'm sure they will write a thorough paper on his return. Leighton's office down the hallway there. Check the plates. Thank you very much, sir. By the way, Emmy, if you're not too rushed, may I ask your help? Of course, sir. Well, you see, a puzzle that I'm having trouble with. My little granddaughter asked me if I could solve it, but I'm on the verge of giving up. If I were to do that, my granddaughter would lose all respect for her grandpa. Oh, can't allow that, sir. Happy to help. Tricky tomes. Here's a bookshelf crammed with thick, heavily encyclopedias arranged as shown as the books have the same depth and they fit perfectly into the shelf as one book no takes from the shelf. Uh, first, no matter who is browsing the shelf. Wait, how do you know which book? It is it never gets taken? Right, so. Thick heavy encyclopedia. All the books have its depth and fit perfectly into the shelf. One book, nobody takes from the first shelf. Never take it first. Hmm. Right, so. Right, so I've got a theory. This one stands, this one, they fit in perfectly. I move six here first. 
two would fall like that. That's just my theory. I'm gonna say six. I'll handle this one, Professor. Fuck, I was wrong. I need to look at that again. But do you notice something odd about the bookshelf? I did not. Odd about the bookshelf. Right, I'm looking at the bookshelf, seeing what's odd about it. Nothing's jumping at me yet, but. All the books. Wait. That's ah, just it. Hmm. Oh, oh, fuck. I've just clicked, yeah. So, see when you're taking the book out? So, uh, it's all. Um, you would just like to put in there if they're small, if they're too small, you know? You know what I mean? You would just hook your finger around and take them out. That way. Off or too big, you pinch it like that. This one, you could go there. You could grab it around and pull it out. This one, you can't take it first because you go there, and you can't pinch it because they're all the same depth, so there's no area here. Number eight, one you can't take it first. What do you think about this? Yes, man, there we go. That puzzle was no problem. Likely the number eight is the only book can be taken at first. There's no way to get it out without removing our book first. I see you're the perfect person to sit. Keep up the good work, Amy. Leave it to me, Professor. Uh, leave it to me, sir. Professor Lane's in good hands. I knew I could rely on you. I haven't seen the professor since he rushed out here yesterday. Who are you, and why are you in the professor's office? I ask you the same thing. I'm Rosa, the cleaning staff. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the professor's new assistant, Emmy Altava. Pleasure to meet you, Rosa. Likewise. The professor's been an assistant now. That's good news. Or he has an assistant. The professor asked me to fetch some papers of his. Good luck organising his own office. A puzzle the professor still hasn't solved. Ask me to pick up any newspapers and notes. Notes and newspapers, right? Well, let's take a look here. Right. Pink coin. Here they are. Notes and newspapers all together. Found them. Good work. Thanks, Rosa. I better get back to the professor. Take good care of him now. Oh, fuck. I was looking for a hint coin. What's the professor's desk? What's Puzzle? What's in the bag? Or it's in the bag. I found the old bag while I was doing a spot of spring clean. What do you think was inside? Create a mystery item from the three different pieces forming a bag shape. Put in this article. Right. Wait, so I need to stuff them with. Oh, right, right, I think I've... Maybe it's a secret. What part? Uh, 
Oh, was ist Oh, hallo, geil. Ich hab da auf. Bag is a bit mystery. Brain's just broke, hence I'll use some hint coins because I've got quite a few of them. 36. Let me flip one piece straight. Might recognize the parts of the object in it. Especially it has at all times. So it isn't known for a signature hat, is he? I make a hat. Flip one of the pieces. Flip both. Back to back. Part that will make up the handle of the hat will form the top of the hat. Okay, so I need to make a hat out of it. How do I do that? How do I make a hat? Fuck, my brain's just broke. I can't figure it out. Right, hmm. But I can make one with this. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I maybe it's not with a negative space. Oh for fuck. There we go, there's the hat there. I'll handle this one, Fuck. Professor. I was thinking about too I was thinking about using negative space too much, but ah. I did it, Professor. Way too long. Great, Professor Layton simply wouldn't look himself without his tall silk hat. You just keep puzzles on hand. Shouldn't be surprised by such things. It's Professor Layton after all. Anyway. Round the notes. Scotland Yard. I got the professor's notes. Now it's off to Scotland Yard to find records. Get to Grotsky's help. Should be able to get what I need. Sure hope Grotsky's there. Sure, don't fail me now. The Yard. Why is it called Scotland Yard if it's in England? Scotland Yard. Now to find the uh, inspector for the records I need. Who you? Excuse me, where can I find Inspector Grotsky? So, leave a message. I'm kind of in a hurry, I need to look at some files. That was lady. Sorry, no access by the or... What kind of records are you looking for anyway? I need archive reports from my town. Holloway. Mr. Holloway, ha! A crime reports for the year could fit in a matchbook. That was police humour. You can't see them without authorisation. Fine, can you at least tell me where Inspector Grotsky is? That I don't know. You might be able to ask around but Keep anyone's up on the second floor. Who are you? Oh no, is that Monica? Emmy? Emmy Altava? How long's it been? Monica, hi, sorry, can't chat. I'm in the middle of something. Middle of something? Station? Are you investigating something? Bet you came to ask Inspector Grotsky for help because you're in over your head, right? Do you know where Grotsky is? Working that case in central London for weeks now. 
Thanks, Monica. Let's catch up soon. Bye. Have a please annoy me event on my forehead. Find Professor Oski, not Oski. I don't know how to say it. Barely speak English, our language. Oski's in Central London. I'm also widely dyslexic, so I. Oski's in Central London. Enter. Someone must have seen him. I could. There's, there's nobody in London. London's an easy place to get around, you know? It's not as if there's millions of people. Right, pal, how you doing? Excuse me, but did you happen to see a burly sort of fellow come through here? A disheveled pair of fellows storm through here. They clearly had no respect for nature. Where'd they go? Head over that way, just across the street. Thank you. Wait, is that it? Aren't you interested in taking a moment to enjoy these flowers? Please take a moment to relax. Enjoy the flowers and this puzzle. Oh, here we go. Fortune flowers. The man tells his local flower smooth. MC intends by picking off petals one at a time. Start with love me, she'll not move on to ha happy, unhappy, so so. Final flower who choose where to uh, buy his sweetheart a bouquet, a cake, a ring, or a book. Flower decides to pick out the best answer with the last petal on each flower. Right. Right. So, let's start. So. Both one is two, is two, and so it's ones that will go eleven. So that's one two. something that you want to land on an even number, and also something that is divided by four. Be sixteen because sixteen divided by four, so. Uh, I don't know what the best one is for, we'll say 16, because if it's an odd number, which all at least they are, you're going to land on, she loves me, wait, loves me, loves me not, oh actually, me, not, odd number you will land on, right, cool, wait, got an odd number. A bouquet, a cake, a ring, or a book. Hi, Megan. Okay, a cake, a ring, or a book. Say a ring is the best one, so it's one that goes as well. That'd be. I'm going to three. Book. Ring, ring, 11. I'll say 11. I'll say 11. What do you think about this? Fuck. No eleven. All right. Let me try that again. Petal, petal, try again. Do I miss you too? Did you get what you needed at the shops? Thirteen. Try thirteen. I think I've got this one. Knew it was thirteen. I knew it. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Great. Young man took away the flowers with thirteen petals in each. Full of this. Uh, loves me. Happy and bouquet. I thought it. Seems reasonable to floor, so want the man to buy an arbor, okay? Right? Fancy people, that's why I was away so long. Ah, I see. Wow, I'm tearing through puzzles left and right. I was born to be the professor's assistant. Put your mind and just breathe. It's important to appreciate nature when you're in the city. Yes, thank you, I will. I must be going now. Eh, some people just don't get it. I'll do a wee save, because there has been a while since I've saved. We'll go for a walk. Aye, after the stream, yeah. I just want to get through the two. I'm looking for two dishevelled looking men. Oh, Groski, the bulges in your suit jacket are especially big today. Are you working out? Groski, come through here. Bet he did. I got to see him in action chasing down a crook. Where did they go? Here's a group over towards the museum, and now I'm going to chase him. I don't want to seem too eager for his affections, you know? You're really into Groski, huh? I'm the founder, president, and sole member of the Groskettes. More members. I have at least one for each of Groski's abs. If you're interested in Groski too, maybe you should be our treasurer. Actually, I'm fine, thanks. Towards the museum. Only one way. 
just ugly Wayne. See a muscular detective come this way? Sure did, he was stuffing like a huge fellow, it was awesome. I wanted to sell tickets to a fight, but they took off. Oh no, I've got to help him. Hold on there, miss. Do I look like an information booth to you? Can help me? Can you have to solve this puzzle for ages? Take a look at it, will you? A wee mick here. Oh, a bad time with a puzzle. Favourite umbrella. Forecast is protecting pain. This girl needs help choosing the perfect umbrella so she can perform. What's on my blue handle, a red trim, and part of a circular ring? A blue handle, red trim, and circular rings. Oh, it'll be A because that's a circle. That's a circles, aren't they? So it'll be. Uh, if it's a ring, oh, it'll go round. One, yep, if it's a ring, it goes round the umbrella. That puzzle was no problem. Right, the circle pattern's only visible when you umbrella. Right. Well done, so you're looking for a detective, eh? Get museum over there, we're tussling over there. Museum, got it, thanks. Heading to the museum. Roski better be a stud. Oh, for fuck. Going to the museum is a bit odd. He likes cats so much he only answers questions in mouths. Of course, to his friends, he still speaks English. But don't tell him I know. I'll give you a puzzle in exchange for your silence. Don't want a puzzle. Go away. Lost in the museum. No, somehow you left behind. Uh, got left behind the museum tour. Where did everyone go? In a distant room, you can hear the guy describing the exhibit. Looking at it, it came from farther away than any other exhibit in the museum. Not man made, and it's quite hard to find. But you look as you find them. Spotted here on it. Not man made. Here longer. Uh, it's been here further away from any exhibit in the game. It's not man made, it's quite hard to find, but you find them dotted around here on Earth. Uh, not man made. What are you looking at? It's very far from where you are. Answer by looking. I think it like a picture far away place of in global terms. Face. Burned up as it felt. Yes, an Not an astronaut, it burned up face. Eight is a I That's the farthest thing away is uh, is like asteroids. Why did I say astronaut? I meant to say asteroid. Anyway. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Yeah, I'm tired, boys. I'm getting shooting star. They were in the room with the space exhibit. Your guide was telling the group about right one of the treasures the museums collect. Rock pal. Dinosaur fossils in the museum were discovered by a professor from Green Green Cellar University. His name was Schrader. I met an assistant named. Brighton. I love archaeology, you see. The idea of discovering giants in the earth and digging them out. So that was the name of. Oh, that was uh, Satan's. Sure, wasn't it AI? We'll meet him in, I think, the Unwind Future. Excuse me, sir. Did you happen to see a barrel chest of police officer run through here? No? Of course. If I don't miss London, finally like cats, do you see? A police. Meow, meow. Crumbled all the. Off. Meow, meow, meow. A little claw just trapped in the well. Just kidding, thanks. Arr. Back to Scotland Yard. Oh, Grosky's fighting again. If you faint, oh, you can catch me. Oh, you're fine. Sorry if I'm the only one affected by the manly circus that down. Such bravery, wrestling that hard and criminal all the way back to the police station. Maybe I can catch Grosky over at the Scotland Yard. Have fun swimming. Grosky, you already arrested me. Place me into your custody. See if this cunt's not the biggest stud you've ever seen. 
It's got to be a detective from the first game, isn't it? Or the first three trilogy, the first trilogy, isn't it? Oh, Groski here. Wait, what's that noise? Here we go. No oh, detective from the first games. Holy shit, Amy just fucking hit me with a reverse roundhouse, big black mass. Kick. Fucking hell. Big fans of Sumerian Death Squad, Amy is. The other questions. Nice to see you again, Inspector Grosky. Oi, I should have known. Amy's cool as fuck. Amy, how have you been? Just fine, thank you. How's the ins esteemed inspector? Amazing, I, Grotsky of the Yard, can now bench press my body weight in crooks. What can I do for you? I need your help with something happening in Miss Harley. Harley, eh? You'll still live out there? Give me the deets. No details, I just burned that, I don't know why. Town's under attack by some mysterious monster. Old mess may be related to the death of a prominent man there last year. Hoping I could get some information on the incident. Sounds like some case there. Let me know if you need me to wrestle anything to the ground. From now on, our files are your files. Thank you, Inspector. Records room is just down the stairs. The records room. If we got it, you'll find it here. Wow, it might take a while to find what I need. Ebby, you know I'd never make you search these stacks alone. Ah, Shelmy, perfect timing. There he is! Inspector Shelmy, my boy! That. This is Inspector Chelmy, and of course Barton there. You guys have a juggling act or something? I just a civ civilian in Scotland Yard's archives. Chelmy, this is Emmy. She's a friend in need of help with a case she's investigating in the Mythology. Nice to meet you, and thank you so much for your help. Oh, before I forget, I need some film developed. Can I do that here? Goodness. Need a prescription filled as well. Oi, Barton, help a lady. Barton, at your service, ma'am. Barton, I need this film developed ASAP. ASAP? I've never heard of that kind of in the film processing, but right away, ma'am. Certainly hope you can manage. Start with these records. Tell me, take that shelf there. For anything sent from Miss Holloway, right? Yep, thanks for your help. Amy, start on that shelf there. Oh fuck, here we go. Records are sorted by year. Start there. This case will be from last year. Right, that's over here. Wow, we need to check this section. Oh, it's not so tough. You'll be surprised how quickly we can get through the. Find the file. Oh my god. Click one of the files from the shelves. Well, click the file with two. Right, so. What you want is two files over from a file with three in its number. Files over from one with six in its number and four files over from nine. Right. File, right, so. Let's start here. So the first one we're looking for is for a yeah, six and a nine. But then it can't be because oh. Let's look for another three. Oh, it could be a, th be a three. No, it can't be because then it wouldn't be. Right, so the world is all have brains broke. I think that's what fell over, over with one of a nine. But uh, hmm, Right, so... Go for some of my One, oh, uh, Oh. 
It didn't say that uh Oh just putting in because it didn't say specifically that I'll handle this one, Professor. It didn't say specifically that it's it, like just because it's got a, another nine problem. beside it that that disqualifies it. As it happens to be Great, you failed twenty nine. Good thing you found it. That'd be nice for me this physical system a bit easier to understand. Would be, wouldn't it? Wait, is this it? That's it. Excellent work, Chelmy. Thanks, one of my skills. I've been trying to teach Barton a few things, but I got the photographs developed. Didn't have ASAP, but they got them done right away. Wow, good work, Barton. Monica was very helpful, sir. Ah, of course. Well, that should do it. Thank you so much for your help. No need for thanks. It's my job. Thank you too, Inspector Shelmy. My job as well, miss. But there is something bothering me. What was that? Take a look at this report. It's a little fishy to me. Deathless and only a single eyewitness account. The red flag right there. Great eye, Chelmy. You just made a hair in my chest stand on end. Go with Chelmy's instinct on this, Emmy. Worth checking out. You know what? That settles it. Emmy, I'm going with you. Bar? Why? Tell me, cover for me. Billy Gross gets whatever you want. I'm not picking up your dry cleaning for you this time, Grotsky. Right, well, I guess we're heading back. Sorry about the cra crashed window, but I oh will. Alright, so when we heading back to Miss Elliot on my scooter. Wait, oh no. Problem, Emmy. Well, I came here on my scooter. Only seats one. Got one seat, and I've got two feet. No problem, I'll meet you there. I could use the exercise. You want to run? All the way to Miss Hollery? Of course not. Got to sprint all the way to Miss Hollery. My fucking god, what a stud. Alright, Inspector, I guess I'll see you there. Just don't be surprised if you see me passing you on the left. Rotsky out. Oh, and he's off. Ow, I can see why Hannah is so crazy about him. Oh, is that this chapter finished? There we go. You know what? Get a little, get a wee sort of bit there. Oh, what we're doing next chapter, but that was a short chapter, so I can't. Like in the witch's house, is pretty long, so get a wee sort of time here, sort of thing. Will Emmy be alright on her own? I don't think we'll need to worry about Emmy. Look, we just sped out here. Roads are dangerous, you know. Come now, look. Let's get on with the investigation. Where do we go from here? Find out as much as we can about Mr. Bard's death. Ariana said from the people in town they weren't very fond of her father. Yes, that's true. Why do you think that was, Luke? Honestly, Mr. Layton, I have no idea what adults actually think. Ah, fair enough. We'll have to investigate this if we want to gain Ariana's trust. Oh, so. Let's talk to some people in town. Right, so what I'll do is I'll uh, do them. I'll, I'll do them next time because I've got a feeling there's got to be a wee sort of gate coming up somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up the save. I'll save under here. Yeah, I'll be fine. That's fine. That's okay. Anyway, so yeah, we've done quite a lot. We went, uh, we actually solved the mystery of the witch's curse. Ends up that the witch is actually just a little girl who Ariana who. Brother's been sort of has got this myth of this witch left alone after Dad passing away. Ends up Emmy's investigated. Dad passed away in mysterious circumstances. We're now going to find out about about Bard and what happened all there. Why? Right. It's actually been quite a long story based stream. It's not been a crazy amount of puzzles. It's more story based, but I've got a feeling there's going to be like a wall of puzzles coming up soon. Next time we're probably going to be solving a bit more. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's just carry over to this screen. So we'll be back tomorrow with Final Fantasy. I'm not quite sure what time yet, but you'll see my schedule on my Discord and uh, stuff like that. So you can get my Twitter on my Discord down below. Um, Shinra will be on tonight. I'll give Shinra a wee shout out. About his... Shinra will be playing Wulong, which is like a Dynasty War... Not a, a Dark Souls type, type game. And check it out, so it's pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll just give him a wee shout out. Yeah, 
Yeah, Shinra will be playing Wulong Fight Fallen Dynasty tonight at 7. And I, as usual, Bogey, thank you so much for joining us. I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next stream. But then, boysies, have a good day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Plenty, boysies. Have good mental health. Look after yourselves. And I'll catch you tomorrow. See yous. <laughs>